Hi everybody, welcome to the Manifold channel. Today we're going to take five minutes to learn how to do geo registration in uh, Manifold System Release 9. It's a wonderful new capability. All this works in the free Manifold viewer as well. We're looking at Release 9 here and what we have is a drawing called Mexico. And we've imported this from a format that doesn't store coordinate information. Maybe it's a CAD format like DXF, uh, maybe it's a shape file where somebody forgot to uh, attach a PRJ file. But be that as it may, it's a projected uh, coordinate system here. We don't know what it is. Manifold, when we click on the info pane, tells us uh, shows this red placeholder for Pseudomercator. The red indicates that it that we need to assign a, a coordinate system to, for this to uh, correctly uh, um, align in uh, maps. Here we have a map uh, which has just one layer, and this has a known good coordinate system. This is a uh, Bang Street Maps. So what we're going to do is we're going to georeference this coordinate, this uh, component, to this one here, this drawing to this uh, map here. All this works with uh, images as well. This one here is called the source. Uh, because that's the thing that we're working on, and this is the target. That's the uh, destination for it. This is the same nomenclature that uh, Esri uses as well. Esri, by the way, calls this process georeferencing, not georegistration. And the way we do this is we add coordinates, uh, we add control points to this uh, Mexico drawing. So with the focus on the Mexico drawing, here in the cursor uh, mode button, we choose Edit Control Points. And now we add control points to features that are visible in both the source and the target. Let's start with this corner right up here. And let's also do this one down here. Now there I didn't cl click that quite right, so let's adjust that. I can right, sh uh, right click and drag, and uh, here what I'll do is I'll control click that to select it and delete, and now I'll put another control point right here at the tip. There, that's a little bit better. Let's go back to uh, the location that I previously uh, set up in the project. So uh, here in the map, uh, this is going to be the uh, target. This is the uh, known good uh, destination. And if there's only one drawing in the project that has control points, it'll automatically load it here into this, uh, into this box, which shows the source that you're working with. Otherwise, you see no source. But when you choose the, the, a drawing that has control points loaded into it, uh, choose Mexico, and you can see it automatically loads in the, the two control points that are there. So for the map, let's add some control points. Again, I choose Edit Control Points. And here, let's click on this one there. And uh, down here, let's, uh, well, let's uh, click somewhat off. So I'll click there. And now let's click Preview with just two control points and see how it does. And it does remarkably good, despite the fact that uh, uh, this control point is off. And what I can do is I can adjust the opacity of the preview. Let's make it 25%. And uh, let's uh, adjust this control point too. I'm going to con ship, control click that to select it. Click Delete to delete it. And now let's uh, right click and zoom down here. We want to put that control point down here. Notice how it automatically keeps track of which control points I'm adding. So it adds this one, uh, it adds this next control point that I added to whatever was the empty one here. When it fills in a control point uh, in the target, it adds a little cross cursor to that. Great. Let's go back to uh, the target location. Let's see how it does. Click preview. And uh, we can see that actually that's actually a pretty good preview. There's a few points where it's off, like here it's off, and down here it's off, and there it's off. So we might want to add a few more control points. Let's do that. I'm going to control click that to turn that off. So let's here add a control point to there. Control point three, and let's add one here to the intersection to where this uh, border ends up right there. Put it there, control point four. And uh, let's add one at the end of uh, the tip of uh, Baja, Cap California, down here to Cabo San Lucas. Right there. And uh, okay, that's pretty good. So now let's match these here. And you can see it's automatically put the cursor on the next empty one, which is control point three. So we can zoom into control point three here. And uh, let's put it right there. Great. Uh, and tell you what I'll do. I'm going to turn off the, uh, the uh, preview for now so it doesn't get in the way. And then down here, I want, I want to put one here on the uh, border here. Let's put it right there. I'm not doing this with super high precision since, precision since this is a five minute video and I don't want to spend too much time uh, uh, zooming back and forth. And let's see, where's the last one? Control point five. It was here at Cabo San Lucas. And right there. There. Okay. So uh, the, we've added a few more uh, control points. Let's click the preview and see how well it does at that. You can see the preview here is much better. That looks good. Uh, let's look at one other thing that we can do here quickly, uh, and that's change the. Uh, algorithm used for geo-registration, we can change that by choosing a different uh, method here in the fit box. For example, here we have a find. We can choose others uh, in, in that pull-down menu. Uh, I'm going to begin by right-clicking on the register caption bar and choosing 100% opacity to make the preview 100%. And uh, here in the order, let's change it. Some of these are pretty similar. For example, square is pretty similar. Uh, click preview, and we've just geo-registered the uh, source into the target using a, a different 
uh, geo-registration geo -registration method, uh, which can produce good results or worse or better results. And uh, we can use the preview to guide us to see how many control points we might need. So for example, something like triangulation, I'll choose triangulation, click preview to update it. Triangulation requires a lot of control points. If we don't have the uh, control point, if we don't have the entire uh, region that we are geo-registering covered with control points, uh, the triangulation isn't going to work very well. So uh, let's uh, change that back to uh, a fine. Click preview to update that and uh, let's uh, put this back at 25% transparency and uh, that looks good. Super. If we want to actually register this to that, we click the uh, register button. And what it does, Manifold creates a new component. It creates a copy of this component that is registered. So if we take Mexico 2 and drag and drop it uh, into the uh, map here, we can see there's uh, Mexico 2 and uh, that's it. We, we, it it's, it's that quick to uh, take a, a, a drawing or image or whatever with an unknown coordinate system like this one here and to geo-register to a known good coordinate system. If this were a map here, by the way, and had multiple layers in it, for example, let's say we scanned multiple layers of a paper map that were all basically the same, uh, we could uh, geo-register those uh, with just one set of control points. So there's a lot of convenience to this. This is just a quick look. I hope you've enjoyed this short video to this uh, wonderful new uh, uh, capability. There's a lot of features that will be added to it. So we're just beginning here with geo-registration manifold, but already, as you can see, it's a uh, really fast and easy uh, and very powerful uh, uh, facility. Thanks for watching and goodbye from Manifold Land. Well, that was fun. Uh, if you want to see more, visit us at www.manifold.net. Uh, as always, Manifold delivers the world's most advanced, highest quality spatial products for GIS and DBMS at a low price that you can afford. Once again, that's uh, manifold.net. See you soon.